Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Star Connor. April is National Child Abuse and Neglect Prevention Month. A pinwheel garden was planted in front of the Alcona County Courthouse in Harrisville. Here's more on that story. It's April 1st and April Fool's Day, but when it comes to child abuse and neglect, that's no joke. Members of CAMPAC and Child and Family Services of Northeast Michigan planted a pinwheel garden in recognition of Child Abuse and Neglect Prevention Month. CAMPAC is a statewide group that promotes positive ways to prevent child abuse and neglect. Members of the organization says the pinwheels are a way to make people become more aware that abuse and neglect actually happens. People need to be aware that it's happening in the community, in this community, in every, uh, in every community. It's not isolated, it's not down below, it's right here. And so we need to be paying attention to our children, we need to be looking at them. We need to see if families are struggling. I mean, we can, we can easily see if we're looking, if we're aware. Coordinator of the second annual event, Tamara Quick, says there are many positive ways people can help a child that has been a victim of abuse or neglect. We can help our neighbors. We can reach out to single parents, especially single moms. We can offer to babysit or take them a meal. We can donate food to the food pantries, to the backpack program, which sends food home for children on the weekends so that they have enough food to eat. I mean, this is a real concern in our county. Um, mentoring a young teenager that's pregnant, that's another need. There's also the MOPS program at the Episcopal Church as well. Um, there are many things people can do, and they could also donate, and they would contact um, CANPAC through the Northeast Community Partnership in Alpena, and that number is 356-2880. Quick adds that poverty is the number one reason many children fall victim to abuse and neglect. People are um, often afraid to talk about it or uncomfortable with it and it, 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 it is happening here and know that poverty is the number one indicator as well of child abuse and neglect. When it comes to this touchy subject, you can make a difference if you know the signs. Well, the obvious signs would be marks or bruises and um, if people notice that, they, they should contact a professional if, they, if they're not comfortable reporting that. Um, there is a DHHS hotline number to report that, um, any indication of child abuse or neglect. Um, or maybe something you just see in public or how a child is treated that you know, might make you uncomfortable. Um, I think we all play a role in children's healthy development. We all need to step up and we need to be involved. In Harrisville for WBKB News, I'm Star Connor.